all broke f- haters. Holy s- As a kid, when you see someone like Lil Tay and see how viral she's gone, does it make you like want to be like her even a little bit? Never. To all y'all broke f- haters. Oh y'all my God. Broke f- haters. Hell y'all no. Oh, I know this video. I know who this is. This has been all over the internet. <laughs> Youngest flexor of the century, baby! Y'all ain't doing it like Lil Tay. This is why all y'all f- here. What is happening? <laughs> she a rapper? I'm only nine years old. I ain't got if she's nine years old, then why is she cussing? It's kind of funny, but not at the same time. Your favorite rapper ain't even doing it like Lil Tay. Damn. That's a lot of beeps. And what? The flip. I've seen it on Twitter and I genuinely thought it was like a parody. Yes, dude. Lil Tay, about time, dude. Lil Tay out here on the top of Beverly Hills. I run this beat. Oh my Who God. Do you see doing, I run this beat. Who do you see doing it like Lil Tay? I'm the youngest one doing what? it. I run LA. I got shooters there, there, here. I got shooters there, there, here. I got shooters everywhere. I don't like Lil Tay. Lil Tay, look at this view. What? No. It's kind of funny because, like, I honestly wholeheartedly think this is like, this is an act. Oh my God. She did not rev it up like that. What is she doing? What is she doing? Lil Tay just copped a brand new Ferrari. Y'all haven't seen this car in your lives. I'm out here flexing and all y'all broke. Flex on him, Tay. I'm out here flexing and all y'all broke haters. All y'all broke haters. Holy. I got a three hundred fifty thousand dollar chain. Y'all haven't got seen a gold this in your chain? Y'all rappers out here, I ain't even started rapping yet, but I'm richer than you. <laughs> I don't like this person. <laughs> Who made her like this? That was crazy, and there were so many bleeps. Oh, I can't stand her. Does she not have parents? This is so scripted. It's absolutely fake. The fact that people get upset about what this is is is. F- Unbelievable to me. Lil Tay just got verified. Y'all said oh I wouldn't boy. make it, but why is she? I'm why are you yelling? Now. Look, I'm verified now. Dude, Lil stop cursing. Where's her parents? Lil Tay, the youngest fuck of the century. Is that her dad? Oh, that has to be dad. Ouch! Dang it! Oh, I'm going to go this. That had to be stage. I'm shocked, I'm horrified, and I'm also like amused. So those were all videos from the Instagram account of Lil Tay. Lil Tay, youngest flexor in the century! I don't like it at all. Is she trying to be entertaining? Or maybe it's just all real, and this is a real person. Like, that thought like, terrifies me. In addition to posting these videos, she has also released a rap song, so we have that to play for you now. God. Oh my god. What is there to rap about at nine years old? Like, I want to listen to this. Lotte, hey. Parental hey. advisory, explicit hey. content yeah. from a nine year old. Lotte, money way, call them a cube on Tuesday. Ooh, that's hot! Yeah. Make 20, make this is interesting. Lotte, money way, write the soft like an essay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I be shooting off rockets, call me who say. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. This is this is so ridiculous. Why are you cussing? I'm only nine smoking on trees. What? I'm only nine smoking on trees. My parents would be so mad at me if I ever did that. Hey. Hey. Boots. You're wearing Ugg boots. You can't flex. Oh, uh, no, this is not good. Money way. I don't like it. That ain't for me. At all. Wow. Who is encouraging this? All of the blame should go on her parents. Why do her parents let her do these things and say these bad words. It's crazy, but it's, you know, it's a reflection of our society. We like real dumbed down, like stupid shit. 
It's ridiculous how funny this all is. It's just, it's like, it's part of the gag, it's part of the joke, it's part of the meme. Lil Tay is a meme. You're supposed to listen to this and enjoy her ironically. So as you may have caught in some of her videos, uh, Lil Tay has said that she is just nine years old. Oh, wow. Wow. I feel like she's trying to impersonate like a 16 year old or something. Given her age, do you think it's okay to be doing what she's doing? Absolutely not. No. She literally curses in her videos. I don't think there's anything great about what she's doing, whether she's nine or 29. I hope like maybe it's for satire purposes, but if it, it's really like how she like perceives the world, it's just like really dangerous. I'm kind of on both sides. We live in an age where super young kids are becoming relatively famous by themselves by doing cringy similar shit to this. The difference is that I think Lil Tay's is ironic and she does it because it's it's funny. There's like adults around her who who like are kind of like egging her on, saying, hey, do more of it. They're really screwing her over and they're really screwing a lot of other people in our society over. Many people when first encountering Lil Tay have been asking about her parents. While her parents have yet to be publicly confirmed, there have been reports that her mother recently quit her real estate job after allegedly using her boss's Mercedes 500 SL in one of Lil Tay's Instagram videos. She did. If this is not a script, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> So not only does Lil Tay not have it, but even mommy and daddy don't have one. Well, what do you think about her parents' role in all of this? Why, Why are they letting their child do this? I feel like that's illegal, like letting your kids say all those things and stuff. I think her parents are idiots, that's what I think. I think they are trying to get some money from this little girl. Why are you doing this to your kid? Like that's irreversible damage that you're doing if she's nine years old. You're basically ruining this kid forever because you want follows. As a parent, you should teach your kids like things about uh, res like being respectful and you know being modest and being humble and about you know not being opportunist. It happens in sports too. The person is somewhat extra talented at nine years of age, uh, and I look out and it'll run away with you. In the final run, it is their job to say yes or no. And once they do say yes, they're walking a very thin line. Sure, you can say it's a nine-year-old. They don't have they don't wanna do all this, but you have to remember that we live in an age in which the kids have always grown up with the internet. So why is it weird to think that a nine-year-old kid is growing up and seeing these other kids become popular or famous in their own way and not wanting to do the same? As a kid, when you see someone like Lil Tay and see how viral she's gone, does it make you like want to be like her even a little bit? Never. No, I don't want to be someone who flexes off of fake money or a fake chain or not even their Mercedes. No, not at all. Oh. People say be yourself. I don't honestly think that's herself. I that, That's probably her parents forcing her to do that. As a parent yourself, I mean, how do you mm -hmm. feel when you see other parents do stuff like this? Wow. I mean, it's a choice, you know, but they're thinking about it in the short term so much, you know. What about the long term effects? It's not so much letting them do type, type of thing because if she were out making Instagram things, th that, okay. But it's the message that's better than attitude and that if you don't own these things, then you're not sh What kind of message is that for a parent to be sending their kid? So finally, given what you've seen of her today, where do you think Lil Tay goes from here? In a downward spiral to un to being unfamous. Well, it depends, I believe, on her guidance, the parents. Hopefully they have like a safe place for her to come to all the time and they kick her, you know, they, they give her the real information that she needs to know. There's an old term called flash in the pan. And she may well be that. And maybe she made some money. Maybe she, she can save the money for college. There might be something there that we can get from all this. When you're young and you put out like a certain persona, then like that's how people perceive you. And that's just so hard to put on such like a fragile human mind, let alone like a nine year old. I just like feel for her. I feel like, I don't know, she might go through a lot of things later. Um, 
And I just like wish her the best, really. Thanks for watching this episode of Generations React. Shout out to Louis Reyes and hi. Bye, everyone. Hey, what's up, guys? Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Generations React. And if you want to check out daily updates, shows, vlogs, and so much more, be sure to subscribe to FBE2. The links will be in the description, or you can click the button right over there. Bye, guys.